Hey folks, so figured I would record a quick video picking the lock. I just picked up a Toolbench hardware lock, which cost me a whopping dollar. <laughs> um, part of what's going on is I'm learning again that uh, every time I try to Every time I try to uh, actually record a video where I make something, it usually goes pretty sideways. So we're going to use one of the new, I'm going to use my new um, lockpick tool slash hard case. DeForest Diamonds, we've got their standard and their uh, European version. The difference being that the... European version is a little bit shallower and a little bit thinner, and we have the well, opposite. I'm going to start out by using their uh, top of the keyway pry bars. These are three for eight bucks, and they're well, they're about what you'd expect to get considering they cost less than one. Less than the cost of one pry bar, from, for example, Peterson. It's been a while since I picked one of these. And we'll see if I can even do it with the top of the keyway tightener. Okay, so we'll 30 thousandths one. A little too small. 40 thousandths. Oh, okay, the 50 thousandths. Well, it isn't quite 50 thousandths, it fits in there just fine. It's a tiny little keyway. Okay, we get the last pin. Could have barely synthesized it. I'm having a hard time getting the pick at the pins. Okay. Let's try the uh, Euro style. See if that fits in here better. It's always seems so flimsy, though. It's also why I was probably not going to recommend these picks to someone who's brand new to picking, even if they're on a low budget, because they're pretty inexpensive. And these were, what, two and a quarter? You can get non rippled handles for less. Oh, it was bent. I felt like it was bending. I guess it's insane. Okay, feels like that's set. Okay, I'm gonna use the tension. I picked these locks in the past, and for some reason, uh, tensioner with this angle cut into it seem to work the best. Well, I'm not positive. I'm not mistaking this lock for an even smaller version. And I was using a different DeForest diamond back then, but I bent that one since, so I can't use it. Well, maybe
How is it that I was picking American laws last week multiple times, but this week I can't even get a dollar store? And I mean, true dollar store padlock open in under five minutes. That would be great. There we go. Still pretty embarrassing, folks, but yeah. Huh. Do wonder if I used a different pick that would go better. Try this one more time, see if we can speed it up a little bit. A little less tension. Pretty sure I was oversetting it to begin with. There we go. I'm going to have to flip this video because I forgot to change the settings. Anyway, that second time wasn't super embarrassing, so that's good. Keep in mind, even cheap dollar store locks don't like being overset. So, yeah, uh, I don't know. My main thing I wanted to talk about are these uh, lockpick tools picks. The Euro style just seems so thin. Uh, they're supposed to be 20 thousandths, but they're actually a little bit smaller than that, thinner than that. And again, these are not the best calibers, but oh, okay. Well, that one, according to this, was twenty-one point point zero two one five inches. So let's zoom that again. Okay, so that's thicker. That's interesting. This is thinner. This is the standard, not Euro. It's coming in at these things are junk. Eighteen thousandths, maybe nineteen thousandths. I need to get micrometers. Which is what I should have bought to begin with, because it's not like I'm really taking advantage of these. Anyway, these picks are really thin and flimsy, so if you already know what you're doing and you have light hands, they're fine. Grab some. They're pretty cheap. I wouldn't buy them in a set, but... Oh, also, uh, Bosnian Bill's done reviews of these, and he talked about how the finish wasn't great. I think they're fine. I don't, I'm not feeling any rough edges. And... And I've been using them for a while. Uh, they're jackknife, which I'll talk more about later, or in another video. Does have some rough picks. It's amusing, though, because they only seem to be rough on one side. Like, the back of this low hook is very smooth, but the front's thick. Anyway, we'll cover that more at a later date. Thanks for watching, folks. And... Got from upcoming videos. Thanks.